Hey guys, and welcome back to another Spotlight Sunday episode where we take a close look at four drive or camping related products to see if they're right for your needs. Today, Blue Eddy has sent out their latest and greatest unit, the AC240. And while most of the specs in this thing are pretty insane, there's one feature that separates this unit from the rest. So there's a lot of lithium power stations in the market nowadays, and it's easy to see why, because they combine everything you used to have to buy separately into a portable all-in-one package. No more installing inverters, running cabling, installing batteries and circuit breakers, you know, everything I'd have spent about two weeks doing in my canopy setup. These come pre-built and ready to go. Now, with units like these, there's always things I like and things I dislike as well. Nothing's perfect, so we'll run through both those lists in just a minute. But first, let's touch on the general specs and features so you know what this unit's about. We've checked out a few different lithium power stations from a few different brands on the channel now. So the question I'm sort of drawn to the most when checking out a new model is what makes this one stand out from the rest. And for the AC240, it's the fact that this has an IP65 weatherproof rating. Now that's the highest level of dust protection you can get. And this can actually withstand low pressure water sprayed at it from all directions. That means you can leave it out in the rain, set it up near your camp shower, or even hose it down after a dirty camping trip and it's going to be totally fine. And I reckon that's pretty impressive with something that's essentially a big box of electricity. Now you might be looking at it thinking that rating only applies if these rubber caps are covering the port underneath. However, Bloody themselves state that the ports are also IP65 rated too. You just will have to wait for them to properly dry out before you plug anything into them. Beyond that, this has a 1,536 watt hour capacity, which isn't the biggest we've seen, but it's also not far off. It's roughly equivalent to a 120 amp hour lithium battery, so plenty of power for most people. The battery in this thing is LiPo 4, which is pretty much the standard for units like these nowadays. And it's definitely the style you want to be going for as well, because it's the safest, most stable and longest lasting by far. You'll still be using this thing in 10 years time. Of course, one of the main benefits of units like this is we get some 240 volt outlets, four of them to be precise on the AC240, and these can provide a combined 2,400 watts, which is really impressive. For context, the big inverter mounted in my canopy is only 2,000 watts, so this provides more power and more outlets. To be honest, 2,400 watts is a perfect amount of power if you're wanting to get into some induction cooking, which I definitely recommend checking out, especially in windy locations like where I am now, because most twin induction cookers use just over 2,000 watts, so perfect for this unit right here, whereas I'm stuck using single induction cookers with my slightly smaller inverter. And of course, there's plenty of power there to run things like microwaves, coffee machines, air fryers, toaster sandwich makers, and so on, to make your camp life a little bit more luxurious. For 12 volt power, we get this simple DC outlet section here that has a 10 amp cigarette lighter plug, perfect for running a fridge, and a 30 amp outlet. Although you will need to source one of these unique plugs to use that one. And finally, to charge all our devices, we get four USB outlets right in the middle, two 100 watt USB-C outlets for laptops and whatnot, and two 18 watt USB outlets for smaller devices. To keep an eye on our battery level and to see how much power we're using at any given time, there's a small screen built into the front here. Now this is nothing fancy, but nor does it need to be in my opinion at least. I find this screen really easy to read and it's not overly complicated, which is a nice touch. You can also connect the AC240 to the Blue Eddy app on your phone to monitor it and even control it remotely. To charge the unit back up, we've got three options and it comes with the cables for each of those options. There's 240 volt power, which is by far the fastest. It will charge this unit from zero to 80% in 45 minutes. We've got standard 12 volt cigarette lighter charging, which is of course a lot slower, taking about 14 and a half hours to get the unit from empty to full. Although if you're driving every day, that's probably enough to keep the battery level topped up as you travel around. And third is solar. Now this can accept 1200 watts of solar, which is pretty insane. And if you've got enough solar panels and sunlight to generate that, you'll charge this from empty to full in an hour and a half. 
Now, if you're new to lithium power stations, I don't blame you if those specs don't really mean much to you. So I thought it might be a good idea to plug in a bunch of 240 volt appliances, the things you might like to take off grid with you and see how long the AC240 will run them for. And we'll kick things off with the Humble Air Fryer. So I shall plug that into one of our 240 volt outlets. I shall turn on our inverter like so and then turn on the air fryer. There we go, the air fryer is kicking into gear there and we're using just under 1500 watts of power. And with that power consumption, the AC240 will be flat in 0.8 hours. Next up is the induction cooker warming up some tasty water. So just like before, we shall plug this into one of our 240 volt outlets. Turn our inverter on, fire the induction cooker up, and we'll just set that to a medium setting. All right, we're using just over 1300 watts, and at that rate, this unit will be flat in 0.9 hours. Here's a camping favorite, my Kmart Twin Toasted Sandwich Maker. So we'll plug that into our inverter using a different slot this time. Turn the inverter on, that should fire up right away. And we're using about 750 watts, and at that rate, we'll be making toasted sandwiches for an extra 1.7 hours. Last up, because why not, we've got a 750 watt microwave heating up a cup of water. So I'll plug this into one of our outlets once again, turn the inverter on, and start our microwave. So the microwave's using around 1300 watts, and at that rate, with 92% left in the AC240, we'll do that for another hour. As we mentioned earlier, there are a few things I like and a few things I dislike about the AC240, and these more come down to general everyday convenience and usability of this unit. The tech specs are what they are, and for what it's worth, I reckon they're pretty impressive, but everyone's needs are different when it comes to power, so I'll leave it to you to decide if this unit meets your specific requirements. So with that in mind, the first thing I like about the AC240 is that to recharge it with mains power, there's no bulky charging bricks in this mains power cable like a lot of these units have. All that's handled internally, so we just have this one neat cable. And when we plug it in, it also clips into place so there's no risk of it coming loose. Secondly, I like that there's separate physical buttons for turning on each of the power zones. It's a lot easier to use than touchscreen control in my opinion. And with those bright green lights, it's super easy to see which zones are turned on. And thirdly, the build quality or just like the general toughness of this unit really feels like it's on another level compared to the other units I've tested in the past. Nothing feels cheap or flimsy or like it's gonna break anytime soon. And with that IP65 rating, it's just a really rugged unit overall. Now, as for what I don't like about this unit, and there's not a lot, but if I was being really nitpicky, I'd say it's a shame to not have wireless chargers built into the top like we did get with the other Bluetta units I've tested in the past. Now, I'm assuming this is down to that IP65 weatherproof rating, so probably uh, not something that can be added, but just something to keep in mind that you are trading off a couple of those extra features to get that weatherproof rating. Secondly, with all that power, I wish there were a few more USB ports to be able to get that power out and charge more devices at once. Now, maybe I'm biased because I tend to charge a lot of gear when I'm out camping, but as it stands, we've only got four USB ports, and to get any extras, we'll have to plug an adapter into this 12-volt outlet. And thirdly, now I know I sound like a bit of a broken record, but I wish these units could have an Anderson outlet. Now this dislike isn't targeted to the AC240 because I haven't seen any units on the market that have that Anderson outlet. And I just feel like it would make these units so much more capable because you could use them to run hardwired accessories, things like my big fridge in the canopy, lighting throughout, or even some additional 12 volt outlets. Now what the AC240 does have is this 30 amp 12 volt outlet on the front here, which could actually be used for this purpose. Then the downside is I haven't been able to find a plug that will connect to that outlet anywhere. So maybe that's an idea for Bloody down the track, release a small adapter cable that can convert that plug into a standard Anderson outlet. Well, those are my thoughts on the Blue Eddy AC240 Lithium Power Station. Honestly, I reckon it's a great unit that would suit most people's off-grid power needs, and its rugged, weatherproof design is a massive bonus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.